As a man on a mission, I am constantly on the move. My work takes me to different places from all walks of life. In the process of time, I have met many successful people with different backgrounds and with different drives. One thing has been common among them all. Like me, they don't compromise on quality. Which is why each day as I leave home to face the world, I drive straight to the one place I know I can reach you for today because I am assured of quality fuel at an affordable price. Over the mouth of the quality is affordable. At Santo Energy, quality is affordable. Clean for all, friendly service. STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, has become a common parlance now, especially as it relates to women. Educating the girl child to become science savvy is now a global priority, and rightly too. As they say, better late than never. Welcome to Energy Quest. Today, I bring you a special lady, Ohima. Introduce yourself. Thank you so much for having me here today, dear. My name is Ohima Ando, Ohima EJ Ando. Um, I went to Achimoto School from the basic level, from nursery to senior high school. My time would say SSS. Yes. Yeah. So I studied general science in Achimota School. Then I went on to KNUSD to study geological engineering. After this, I had the opportunity to join Schlumberger as okay. a national service personnel. Then I went on board as a cement a stimulation engineer first, and then later I was trained as a cementing engineer. Okay, so explain to us what the stimulation and cementing engineering okay. is all about. Okay, so let me start with cementing engineer. When we are after drilling a well, you know, we've created a hole in the formation, in the floor. So I was dealing more with deep sea operations, deep water operations. And when you, when you draw the well, you don't want the formation caving back in, meaning you don't okay. want the rocks, you know, falling They're back into the in hole there. that, thank you, the hole that you've, you've drilled down there. So we put, we put pipes down hole okay. and then to keep the pipes in place you mm -hmm. have to cement it to keep it in place okay. also they want to prevent the they want to improve on zonal isolation when i say zonal isolation we want to prevent water from moving in, in this layer to another layer okay. or oil or gas like we want to prevent like whatever mix yes. up mm -hmm. mix up exactly that's the basic explanation i can give for cement and engineering and then we have stimulation engineering okay we, we want to stimulate the formation caress the formation the whole idea is we, we want to recover as much as we can, whatever it mm -hmm. is that um, the job there. is for, whatever mm -hmm. it is they want, the purpose for the job, you want to get as much of it as possible. So we have to caress the, it. <laughs> caress the formation, pamper the formation yeah. in a way to bring all this out. So how we do that is what we call stimulation. We stimulate the formation to get what we want from it. So there are a lot okay. of okay. technicalities involved, a lot of chemicals involved to do this yeah. it's it's a whole technical it sounds really interesting it's interesting it, it's amazing you it love it really you interesting love it. okay so you are into something else now mm -hmm. you are you began a foundation just right tell yes. me about just okay so girls in science and technology just because women we love to just okay so yes, girls in science and technology the why this came about was um as a lady in the oil and gas field, mm -hmm. there were a lot of times where I would be the only lady with uh, people on board, their rig being like 200, 
and you one could be to two hundred. Yes, one to two hundred. I remember my first assignment. I was in Nigeria on a vessel, and we were about seventy people, and I was the only lady oh. on board. That was a Shlombeje okay. vessel. Yes, you would share. There were times where you would have to share a room with a guy. You'd share the washrooms with the guy. Yes. So it got me thinking, why are there... Am I alone yes, here? Why are there not a lot of women offshore like or in this? So I just started researching and I realized it wasn't just with the oil field. It was all over. Uh, all over. Most of the time in Ghana, you find our ladies in the medical field, which yeah, is also science good. ladies. Yes, mean, our yeah. science ladies in the medical field. I'm not against that. We need them. Yes. But then another thing was I, I had people ask me, ah, what did you study? How did you go get there? Yeah, it's yes. like a mystery, right? Thank you, it was a mystery. And also on my journey, at every point, I had people helping me. Okay. At, at every point, like the, the grace there was... There was yes, some support There was system. some support. There was, a gra there was this grace upon my life, let me put it that way. And it was through people. Yeah. So people can, can make this happen. We need people to make this change, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is why I decided to start GIST where we show our women representation of our own Ghanaian women mm -hmm. doing amazing things in STEM. So um, what levels of ladies or women do you handle in GIST? Yes. So with GIST, we start from the basic level um, from class four upwards. I believe that if you catch them young, it's yeah. good. If you wait till the senior high school, they've chosen their courses already. And one thing about and their interests have been developed. Thank you. One thing about STEM careers is if you don't have the background, the in the foundation in it from senior high school, yeah. you cannot go into it. It's not like art art courses where I can decide to yeah, channel. If you don't have a good foundation. Yes, so. you, you can't you can't go in. Okay, so Ahim, I love the fact that you're just is covering the kids that age because hardly do you find any educational program that low, I mean at that age. Mm -hmm. Very often it's either from secondary school or, or even post-university. Yes, so I, I really love that. But I want to understand operationally, how does GIST work? Okay, so with GIST we i said mentorship right so people normally um, register through our website www.just-ghana.com and also people communicate with me through linkedin and through my instagram so we do this through mentorship yeah yes we provide them with mentorship at every stage and i keep saying mentorship is a lifetime thing you don't do mentorship mentor somebody to get into a career and then stop and that's it no you get to a point you don't you don't know how to go about it and there's nothing you want to understand somebody has been there and has had to go of through course, yes. yeah so i remember i got to a point when i got pregnant actually and um, let me say both pregnant pregnancies i found out offshore both of my Aww. pregnancies, yes. I'll be off and I realize I'm pregnant and you don't know how to go about it. Who am I telling? How are they going to take this? And let me say this, women have to speak out. Yeah. So that is one thing just at you for. Them yes. to do. That you have yeah. to speak out. We are women. There are some things we cannot change. It comes exactly. It comes with us. And we must be accepted and as we are. Thank you. That that is how it is. So if you yeah. decided to work with a woman, then you should know all the things that comes with this. Yes. Yeah. So as a woman, how do you, you know, approach something like this and even make the best out of it mm -hmm. maybe during that time you can't go offshore again so now you, you can establish new develop new skills in the office doing mm -hmm. other things so there's always a, a plus somewhere and which other gift is there than to nurture the next generation oh, we, yes. we have that oh, yes. power to do it yes so we, we take through we take our ladies through all this it's not just the career just aspect. About it's a, a all-rounded all -rounded women. We, we take them through soft skills trainings mm -hmm. and i keep i keep telling ladies this that your certificates can can take you into a room but then what makes you stand out when you get there what yeah. gets you a seat yeah. at the table yeah. so yeah. i keep all this how you speak how you present yourself how you look alone you Very see me essential before i open my mouth so if i'm not looking good you go like what what does she have to say who is this person thank you so mm -hmm. all this is just to give our ladies an all-rounded training basically so that is what just is about with the operation and um, due to covid we've had to take a lot of things onto our virtual now we are trying to start going face to face face to face has this 
additional yes, few. It's, it's never the same. It's never the same thing. <laughs> so last year we started this. Um, I started a YouTube channel yeah. just with just which is okay. just with girls in science and technology where we interview our amazing women in STEM. They share their journey, their challenges, their advice, the youth. I've had the opportunity to interview people like Lucy Quest. I've had the opportunity to interview um, Dr. Georgette Barnes. Okay. A, a, a lot of women, we've interviewed them. That's we've, very motivating. Yes. I mean, watching those who've already done. Thank you. It, it's very, very motivating. And you realize that their story is not any different. So you see that, ah, so she went through this, she went through this. And it's so easy to flow with these people. You yeah. see them and you're so scared, you know, to like, walk up to them. And uh, surprisingly, <laughs> I talk to all of them through LinkedIn, most of them through LinkedIn. I've not seen them and before. And they, come, they yes. come on board. Yes. Yeah. So we teach women how to use all these platforms to get opportunities to, yes. Yes. And then in addition to the training and all you do in just... He told me about something that has to do with experimental boxes for kids and all that. It sounded so interesting. Yes. What's that about? So I have this, another thing that I do is called PM STEAM Academy. Okay. Where we introduce our young ones from ages five upwards, basically to 14 years. We introduce them to science, STEAM. Okay like through fun experiments, how, how that's a volcano, okay, how, how are clouds mm -hmm. formed, rainbow, walking water, creating rainbows, so many okay. fun experiments, yes. I started this during um, the lockdown. Last year? Last year, yes. We wanted to get kids engaged at home. So this is a box that comes with all the materials needed for science experiments. Overalls, yeah, cover, I, add, I add the lab coats and the goggles, <laughs> you know, just to give them the feel of it. Kids love yeah, that, yeah. So just to give them the feel of it. And it comes with the steps to follow okay. so that the parents can help them. This is also to get parents engaged in their children's education. They don't just come home and you leave them to do their education and their mm -hmm. assignments and things. This is to get them, you know, engaged. And it's exciting. It's exciting. Ex experiment. It's so exciting. Okay. Like, I, the videos parents were sending to me, oh. I, I really loved it. But now, you know, things are, things are opening up. So we are meeting, not every weekend, but then some weekends, the students, we meet with them, we go through these experiments. And this is also to build their communication skills. When you are doing this, you have to talk. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? You know, you're asking questions. And then you have to work with each other. That's one thing our educational system, I'll say, that's not um, encouraged. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way, yes. So then now you have to work with people. And, and that is what... Collaboration. That is what is happening in the, in the real world. You don't work alone. You work with people. You need team, people. Yeah. Exactly. You're a team. W winning is not individual. This, thank you. Thank you. So this is just to encourage this. And it's fun. You, the children are so I happy. I can just there. imagine. Yes. One thing is, um, this year, just as embarking on um, an empowerment campaign. We are calling it just empowerment campaign, where we are creating clubs in schools, in the universities. For this year, we are targeting UMAT, mm -hmm. Kenya University and University of Ghana. Okay. Yes, so we want to encourage, I, I believe in networking. I believe a lot in collaboration. No, it, it really does yes. a lot. So we want to encourage the ladies knowing themselves, even on campus, like how, how can me in the engineering sector work with maybe someone who's doing actuarial science? How, how, how do we combine this finance to help it? Mm -hmm. You know, there are all these steam, just so we, we work together. Also, it makes it easier for us to reach out to the mm -hmm. ladies. Today, we are targeting Legon chapter. We are taking them through trainings. Th this, that is what we are doing this year. And I would like okay. to say, yeah, thank you to Voltic Ghana. They are partnering with us on, on this particular project, the Just Empowerment Campaign, yes. Immediately the product was actually introduced to me, I wanted to get on it, and that was the Gold Check account, guys. This has actually changed my business. So on the First National Bank app, you have the business toolkits that gives you all the information that you need to run your business and whatever inquiries you have, they're always ready to answer. And that makes life very easy for me. And you have the in contact that helps you access every transaction that takes place or happens. Now, point of sales terminal. I mark it wherever I go. And so I love to have that so I can take payment, especially with those who tell me I do not have cash. A bank that understands that you can start life all over again or start a business from scratch. Very keen on running it and making sure that you grow to the core. It's one you should look out for. 
My name is Jifa Bekre Gray, the CEO of Jifa Gray Creations. I recommend that you sign up to the Gold Check account from First National Bank for a great banking experience. As a man on a mission, I am constantly on the move. My work takes me to different places from all walks of life. In the process of time, I have met many successful people with different backgrounds and with different drives. One thing has been common among them all. Like me, they don't compromise on quality. Which is why each day as I leave home to face the world, I drive straight to the one place I know I can reach you for the day because I am assured of quality fuel at an affordable price. There at Santor, quality is affordable. At Santor Energy, quality is affordable. Clean fuel, friendly service. So I saw your lovely video dancing Adwa. Yes, I'm sure my viewers want to know about it too. <laughs> yes, so Adwa is one thing I love. I love dancing Adwa. Okay. Um, my, my mother is a queen mother at Brekum Keto in the Bono region. So since I was small, I was exposed to our, our culture, our Ghanaian culture. She okay. has she has a cultural troupe. Okay. So they would come home and meet and whilst they are, you know, learning how to dance, I'll be in there, I'll so little and I'll, I'll learn you how learn to dance. Yes, I just loved it. So even in school from JHS, I would dance during our cultural activities. At Chimota School, when it comes to our cultural activities, I would say we are one of the best. Let me say the best, because that's what I've been oh. to. Yes. <laughs> so I, I normally would do that in school, and, and it was so great. It was, it was an amazing thing. And there was this time where I led the group to welcome President Kufo. I was so happy. Like, okay. after, I think for about two weeks, I was a, a celebrity in school. That be an Please. experience. Everybody was just, oh, hello, hello how are you? It, it, it felt so good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so I love Adowa so much and I still do. And in that video, I was pregnant with my daughter. Okay, yes, okay. okay. How, how many kids do you have now? I, I have two. I have two amazing children. My boy is almost four and my girl is almost two years. Okay, yes. okay. Congratulations. Thank you, All-rounded woman. Thank you. Uh, that, let me not take all the credit. I have a great support system. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie. I have an amazing husband. My okay. my family, they are all supportive. I have an amazing nanny too, who okay. helps me a lot when I'm not around. My in-laws, my mom, my sister, like their 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 backbone is strong. Thank you. You can't them. do it alone. That you need help. Yeah, that, that's it. Yes. So I, I I want to say a very big thank you to them. And let me say this: when I started just like taking it on personally, yeah. my husband was the only one financing everything. Oh. With just yes. So he helps me financially. Yeah. It's this year that I've started. It's not easy in Ghana. That is one thing. Getting support. Sponsors. Sponsors. It's for... not easy. It's not easy. And it's, I understand that. that that's true. Yes, yeah. I understand that most of the time people want to see you've done something before, which is before understandable. They, exactly. Now there's proof they can yeah, believe exactly. in you. Yes. Okay, yes. so thank you to him that now we can develop yes. our girls. Yes. 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 Okay, so where do you see just in five years? Okay, so in, in five years, um, I'm hoping, I, I'm, not, I'm not hoping, I know we are going to do this. In five years' time, just would have created a lot of opportunities for our ladies, hands-on opportunities with our industry players. Yeah. We need it a lot. Now, we are actually partnering with some companies to give our students internship opportunities. Okay. Let, let me say thank you to Chemsolf. Now, um, it's a chemical company, they do distribution, they do storage, a lot of things coming, uh, coming with chemicals, basically. So they've partnered with us to give 
some some of our experience ladies experience them. yes i would also want to say a big thank you to voltic ghana limited yeah. they reached out to me this year and they are helping okay with, yes with some of our, our programs so i'd like to call on a lot of companies to come on board to so support. that yes to support to support this project we we need all the help that we can get out there yes i might have done so much i'm so thank proud you. of you thank you thank and you so deserve much. an award for all this <laughs> Oh, okay. So actually, last year we we won an award okay. for the Outstanding Women Social Community at the Ghana Outstanding Women Awards Goa Goa Awards 2020. Okay. And I was also nominated for the Outstanding Women in Innovation, but I didn't win the award. But then we went home with the Outstanding Women Social Community for our activities. Good, from last you, you, you deserve thank more thank awards. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. And I'm praying that these awards will come with a lot of sponsors because it will. That, it yes, will. That it's is a good what, cause. So yes, why not? That it is will. what we need. Could do. Thank you so much. So there's, there's someone I have to say a big thank you to, someone I owe all this to, and that's my mom, Nana Ifia Sera Abebiu III, the Queen Mother of Keto in the Buno region. She's empowered me since childhood. Like every, the prayers, they are unending. She keeps praying for me. Every day she prays for me. My husband is always saying how lucky she is. He is to have her as a mother-in-law. There's no day you talk to her on phone without her ending it with a prayer. So for empowering me, I'd love to say thank you to my big sister. Thank you for everything you guys sacrificed to bring me here today. God bless you. Mommy, that's a pan. What more to say? Clearly, Ohima is a role model and just as a great opportunity for our young girls and for the older ladies as well. When you come across this opportunity, don't give it a chance to go. Make sure you make the best of it and whatever you pick from it, make sure that it makes an impact in your life. And if you are, if you are out there and you're ready to support a great foundation like this, get on board. Did you know that every oil super major has a renewable energy transition plan? BP has joined forces with global mobility giant VW to help accelerate the take up of electric vehicles. They are looking to have about 70,000 charge points by 2030. Shell has also partnered an EV charging service onto offering users access to over 3,400 charge points across the UK to expand access to charging. They have also partnered BMW to develop 500,000 EV charge points in four years. Ghana is not left out in all this innovation. Pobat, an indigenous EV charging company, has partnered the electricity company of Ghana, ECG, to install EV charging stations across Ghana. The first phase involves installation of 200 EV charge points. You can now drive into ANC Mall or Stambic Heights to charge your vehicle. Pobat can install EV chargers at your premises with maintenance and replacement, all at no cost. Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics this is what we do on energy quest we demystify the energy sector so we meet again ciao Did you miss an episode of Energy Quest? Watch all episodes on YouTube at Energy Quest TV or Kente TV. Also catch up on the Daily Graphic YouTube page and website. Energy Quest, looking into the future.